welcome to this video. Today we're going to make a program, the game called Space Invaders, but very simple and so minimalistic as possible. I won't talk that much while making it, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'll open a screen. I'll display it at the bottom because that's the graphic seems better when you do that. So screen display just moves the screen downwards. Yes. Let's turn the cursor off. Let's stop the flashing. Let's turn the mouse off and clear the screen. Make some colors. Zero is black, white, grayish, dark grayish. Let's make the characters for the game. Let's make it grey, dark grey, and this will be the enemies. Then let's make our spaceship that will be a lighter gray let's clear the screen make laser beam 2.5 cap up 3 And clear screen. So now we have an open screen, we have turned off the mouse and the cursor, we have made a palette with the colors we want, and we have made the bobs we want. So the enemy us the other way around us, the enemy fire. Always when you have a lot of pops on the screen you have to do a double buffer out of X zero. Let's just save this. Usually draw some lines on the screen just to know where my play field is. This is the middle of the screen. I want the bobs to maximum move to this point. And from the other side that would be 320. X. Let's start at 112 and alien Y. Let's set that at 30. Now we want them on the screen. All 15 of them. We want 15 enemies. Bob A point A X point A Y point two. The dark gray. Um. X point twenty, so there's a little room between them. And if A equals five, then we want it to go a little down. We have to set X back to hundred and twelve. Let's make our little game loop. Wait, word blank. So now we have them in the middle of the screen. Now let's let's make them move.
file a equals 1 to 15, so we can move all the pops. Pop a point lnx point lny point 2. Next. Now this should be on the screen all the time. We have to make a check factor. X check. Alien X check equals alien X. And under here we can say alien X equals so. But why it doesn't show everything? Let's just copy this, paste it down here. No idea what I'm doing wrong right now. I've made this a hundred times. Oh. winter and my brain is cold I guess that wasn't that hard add LNX point one dun, 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 dun. AXT, AXT. This is what I like about programs. Sometimes the simplest mistake makes that things don't work. And if you don't, yeah, I just like it. <laughs> it's funny how you can solve small problems or create your own problems by not thinking straight. So I could cut this out of the video, but I won't. I'm not a professional. I just make things work as the best I can.
Oh, I hope you'll watch anyway. So, now we have the aliens moving to the right, but we want them to move back to the left. So if AX is It's bigger than 150, then then speed equals minus one. If AX is less than 60, then speed speed equals one. Dun. 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 Good enough. Sorry for the hiccups, but <laughs> that's how it is. Um, now let's place us. We are X. 160 is the middle. It's. I guess this is fine. Y equals let's see. Doesn't have to be perfect, but at least we can try. So now I'll remove this because that's just annoying to look at. And the reason why the one enemy disappears is because I called this Bob one. It's supposed to be 16. Yes. Um, and let's make our Bob mobile FJ right one depends on which, which port you have your joystick in it can be one it can be zero and if you're doing this from a win emulator the you can use the keyboard as a joystick and x is smaller than 107 240 then add x point fj left one and x is bigger than 60 then add x point minus four now we should be more able to move left and right maybe a little fast but who cares let's make it slow so um and we want to be able to shoot let's make the fire and fire x fire y and that was pop three we want to place fire off the screen from the start so let's just make that minus 10 equals minus 10 fire is here but you can't see it so if fire one then fire x equals x fire y equals y so when now i push fire i still can see anything Oh, it's because 
because it's the same color. Sorry. Let's make this white so we have different colors for all. So fire appears on the left side of your spaceship. Um, and it was only 2y minus 50y, we have to plus 7 then. That's good enough. And we want fire always to move up. Add fire y point minus four. Now I can shoot, but you see it if I keep fire pressed, nothing happens. And that's because it doesn't know if it has been fired or not. So fire check equals zero. And then fire check equals one. And I just go here, fire check equals zero. Now when you fire it won't get stuck. Print fire y. But we will have to be able to fire again. If fire y is less than 14, then ft equals zero. Pop off. 17. Let's see. Usually I do like this instead. Fire x equals minus 100. It's just off screen then. Now we want to be able to hit the spaceships. That's easy in Amos Basic. If Bob Collision. 16, uh, 17, that's fire, 1, 2, 15, then bell. We want to hear it hit. It hits. But we also want to control what enemy it hits. So we do it like this again, 1, 2, 15. Next, A to A, then Bob of A. Okay, and fire x equals minus 100, fire t equals zero. So, and if you wonder why the Bob's they shortly disappear and come back. It's because here, I, around here, I asked the computer to place all bobs again. It doesn't know when one bob is dead, one enemy is dead, and we can do that pretty easy. So. We'll have a value here for each bob dead for a equals 1 to 15, dead a equals 0, next. If dead a equals 1, then go to skip, skip. We have to do something here also. Dead A equals 1. Now the computer knows that when it's dead, it will skip the placement of the buff. Or so I sold.
Okay, I must be very sleepy. I have no idea what I'm thinking about. I placed it up. I could take this video over again, but I don't want to. We'll just see the mistakes I make and then you also learn to, when you make a simple mistake, placing stuff in the wrong places, why it doesn't work. Now it works. Just do like this, but off. So here you go, a simple version of spacing waiters. Sorry for the mistakes I made, but it's when you want to do something and you're not a pro and you try to rush it, you make stupid mistakes. Or I do, at least. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, share the video, comment below. And if you want the source code, DM me and I'll send it to you. I'll try to make some better videos. Um, and if you want me to do a certain kind of video, just ask me. Soon I'll make some videos called Amos Shorts, where I'll explain four or five commands to the fullest each time. Um, the best I can, and I'll hopefully don't make more of these kind of mistakes because that's a little embarrassing. But this is it. It's Space Invaders. It's only... 57 lines of code. Um, the good thing about Amos Basic, if you learn this, it's you can also use a normal modern PC to do this now because Francois Leona also made AOC Studio. Search for it on the on Google and you'll find it. It's free at the moment. It will be a paid service, but then you can use your old skills from the 80s and 90s to make great games nowadays. Thank you for watching. Bye.